Hey guys, and welcome to a new series uh, from the book DPV. This series is about paths and graphs, chapter four. And um, today we are starting off with problem 4.3, which is squares. And this problem essentially asks us design and analyze an algorithm that takes an undirected graph GVE and determines whether the graph contains a simple cycle that is a cycle that doesn't intersect itself of length four. And the running time should be order of V cube, where V is the number of vertices in the graph. Now, before we actually dive into this problem or the solution, let's um, think for a moment, um, you know, this problem of solving for a cycle of length four, if this was a cycle of length n in any graph, right? So um, I wanted to motivate uh, a thought here that just assume on the right side, there is this graph of size n. And if we ask uh, for the naive uh, you know, user, if we say, can you, does this graph contain a cycle of length n? And essentially what this really means is that this boils down to CARP's 20, one of the 21 problems, undirected Hamiltonian circuit, which is an NP-complete problem. It cannot be solved in polynomial time, right? And, and so um, I just wanted to motivate the fact that, you know, the author is asking for a length of four cycle, a simple cycle of length four, but this is a complicated problem when you try to generalize this and it becomes an NP-complete. So if you're if you you know you happen to find a, a, a solution with let's say um, let's say uh, a depth for search or or you know breadth for search for your specific problem that you drew on a piece of paper, and you think that you have solved the generalized problem of length n cycles, simple cycles of length n, rest assured, if you really solve this problem, you have solved a much bigger problem, which is you know. P equals NP. And so um, make sure you try out some other examples and, and convince yourself that that does not work. In fact, I had come up with the same answer and I thought I had solved uh, the generalized you know, cycle of length N and it turns out that you know, I was wrong. And so with that said, um, let's look at a solution. And I'm, I'm pretty sure there's other solutions people have used uh, adjacency matrix multiplications to do the same, but I'll show you a fairly simple solution to this problem. And the solution goes somewhat like this. You, if you, uh, given a set of nodes, which is, you know, obviously in a previous graph, we are given V nodes and E edges, right? So if you pick a pair of nodes, let's say U and V. Now you have U and V isolated and you can, you know, pick n square ways, you can pick uh, two nodes out of a set of n nodes, right? Uh, and choose two. Um, so once you have these two isolated, now out of the remaining nodes, you find um, all the nodes that connect to U and V, right? Count how many nodes connect to U and V, both that are unique, right? And, and are not U and V themselves inclusive. So, and, and once you have found those nodes, then essentially the solution is that if you find, for any pair, if you find two or more nodes that follow, the, uh, that, that are, um, uh, that have this criteria met, that they are connected to both U and V. If that happens, then you have found a cycle of four because you see essentially, if it goes like this, then this set forms a cycle of four, right? So um, so we can apply this um, to any graph. And as long as you have a set of two nodes and, and two more nodes that connect to them a certain way, which is here, then you have a cycle of four. And the complexity of this is obviously we found every pair. So the complexity was V squared. And then we went through every vertex to find if we had two or more um, vertices that connected with our pair. And so we we um, iterate over all this and we'll get VQ. So that's it, guys. That is the solution for this problem. And um, I'm pretty sure that 
uh, you know, it's it's not too complicated to understand, but at the same time, it, it kind of motivates you to think about the fact that, you know, the solution was only for a cycle of four, but if you extend it beyond this, this could be a very complicated answer. And for a cycle of N, in a graph of size N, you know, this is really a, a, a NP-complete problem. So with that, I'd like to end here on a note that if you if you liked it and if you would want to come back for more uh, solutions on paths and graphs, um, then do subscribe to my channel. And if you liked it, um, please hit the like button or if you want to leave a comment for me, um, feel free to do that. And I love reading your comments. Um, and um, I obviously love the fact that you know you're coming back or if you're subscribing to my channel, gives me a uh, great joy to to see that you guys uh, like the content I'm making. So once again, thanks a lot, and uh, I'll see you in another video. Take care and bye-bye.